after you engage them in a well-crafted opening statement, you've got to ask questions. Now, my favorite question is, what is most important to you with blank? Insert your product. What's most important to you? That can't be the lead-off question um, because, you know, you haven't earned the right to ask that yet. But if you can get – that makes this whole webinar worthwhile. If you can get the answer to that question, what is most important to you, it makes every follow-up call so much easier because you find out – what their sweet spot is. You find out what their hot button is. So, you know, try to incorporate that call, that question into your calls after you've asked, like, your qual- your your qualifying questions, you know. And qualifying questions could be, well, you know, why do you use what you use now regarding your product? Or what are your goals for 2016? You know, there's all kinds of fabulous questions um, that you can ask if you think about it before, you know, you actually just start having things come out of your mouth. You know, you if you have your questioning strategy prepared, what's the biggest challenge facing you this year? What does the next company need to do to earn your business? You know, how did you choose your current company? Um, once you get them to talk, then everything gets so much easier. Again, telling is not selling. So you want to make sure that they start talking, okay? And and, and have your questions printed out on a piece of paper in front of you. And then once they answer the question, really listen to understand. I say that to myself. When somebody's talking, I'm like, okay, make sure that you're listening with a pen in your hand and I'm saying to myself, listen to understand, listen to understand. What are they really saying here, right? And then use the key words that they use. Write them down. Put them in your contact management system because, you know, that it it just helps you relate better, right? And then, you know, you, you make a recommendation once you find out what their needs are, right? And then, you know, you ask for a commitment, right? You try to close sale. Now, to me, closing the sale is like, you know, kissing at the end of a good date, right? It's almost naturally going to happen, but you still have to ask, you know? So asking questions like, are you ready to move forward with this? You know, so you're going to recommend to use us on a trial basis, you know? Are you working on anything that would use this, that would need this right now? You know, try to use trial closing questions before you get off, you know, any kind of call, okay? And then hopefully, hopefully, they're going to give you an objection. Because if you get an objection like your price is too high or, you know, we get called by people in your industry all the time or, you know, we're happy with who we're using, you know, if you're getting objections, that's a good thing. Because if you're not getting objections, you know, they're just they're just thinking, okay, I just want to get off the phone. They're not even going to um, engage in a conversation with you. But, you know, if somebody is saying, okay, your price is too high, you want to say, okay, well, based on what? You know, what are you comparing us to? Um, you know, you, you, and then you have to have the benefits of what um, – your product is for them. And if they're saying they're happy with their current supplier, you say, you know, some of my best customers said the same thing the first time I talked to them. Who are you using? You know, what's going on with that? So, you know, there's all kinds of – what I'd really like you to do, too, is write down your opening statement, but then write down all the objections you hear. Because every time I do this with people, they usually don't hear more than 10 different objections. And even if they give me those 10 objections, they're kind of objections saying the same thing in a different way. But so, you know, write down the objections that you're hearing so that you are prepared to resolve them. Um, You know, you're prepared to overcome them and and you help the customer see past them. Sometimes they just want a little bit more information. They're raising that objection because, you know, they they need um, to have all the decision, you know, all the information so they don't look like a dummy in their own organization. So just don't be afraid when they give you those objections. 